Hello, welcome to the very first How We Test Software and Microsoft video podcast. I'm Alan Page, and this is Ken Johnston, uh, two of the authors of How We Test Software and Microsoft. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit in these podcasts about, uh, well, today we'll talk about how the book was put together, and then the rest of the podcast, we're going to give you some insight into each chapter of the book. So. If I remember correctly, mm -hmm. Ken was the instigator. It wasn't my idea to write this book. It was Ken's idea. Can you talk about how the thing got started? Yeah, well, you, you were there because you actually put me on the trail. Uh, you had a, a contact from somebody at a testing conference that needed a presenter. To, and right. they needed something that was keynote quality. And, and I was struggling for an idea. And I was talking to my wife. And she said, well, why don't you just tell them how you test at Microsoft? And from that came the presentation at the keynote. And I went out and I presented. And the response was really positive. And I came back and I was all excited. And I wanted to talk to you because I said, we've got to turn this into a book. And well, you tell, me, you tell everybody your reaction. <laughs> well, I'm sure anybody who's ever had an excited boss come into their office That's and tell right. them something, um, you probably had about the same reaction. It was, sure, Ken, sounds great. I'll, I'll get right on that. But he, he didn't, he was persistent. He kept on talking about it. And I thought, you know, I've read a ton of testing books. Um, one of my favorites is, despite its weight and volume, is, is Bob Binder's Testing Object Oriented Systems. And it's a great book. Um, chapter three especially talks a lot about great test stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm no way affiliated with Bob Binder, but it's a great book. Well, no, even Binder, he's on yeah. my shelf. And his chapter yeah. three, I point new testers to that all the time. Yeah. So anyway, after reading all these books, I thought, well, what value could we have in a book? And Cam was persistent, and I thought about it, and I thought, and it, it hit me like a, a ton of bricks, is that the, we teach, uh, our organization teaches testing courses at Microsoft, and the value of our course is not, is, is not in you know, drivel about you know, techniques and approaches and tools. It's the stories we tell about our experiences at Microsoft, and I thought if we could write a book that was full of our stories and experiences and from people, not just ours, people all over the company, that maybe it would be interesting. And as we got farther and farther, it, it kind of um, it kind of turned into something really exciting. Yeah, well, it did. And, you know, it was, it was a collaboration. I mean, I knew from the beginning that I wanted to cover some of the process stuff. And your background as a test architect, I knew that it would be much better for you to write a lot of the technical chapters. And, I mean, I also didn't want to take on a project like this on my own, which is like turning to you. And you know, I knew you would write the majority of the book from day one, so it was, will Alan do it or not? It wasn't <laughs> anything other than that, because if you weren't going to get on board, the project wouldn't happen, because uh, I wasn't about to, to try to write some of those, those sections and, and muddle my way through. I wanted your practical right. experience with that. And, uh, but you know, out of that, we divvied up the work. I got to do the, some of the chapters I wanted to, which was, the, you know how we do stuff and some of the history of, of testing at Microsoft and then when you know I was director of test at the time now you're director of test for Microsoft uh, but I was foolish in the project and left the role to go work on web services which then had me writing the web services chapter or it software made, it, plus it made services complete chapter. Sense. I think in the end the, the vision ended up really well and um, you know we brought in BJ who isn't here today um, because he kind of came onto the book late as well, so it, it works out fine. But, you know, BJ is our expert pretty much across the company on the basis of uh, functional and structural mm -hmm. test techniques. And, and for those two chapters, it was obvious he had to write them on. I mean, he, he designed the courseware on those mm -hmm. sections. He lectures about them outside of Microsoft. And even in some of the reviews we've had so far, he's been his sections have been mentioned as excellent examples uh, in those areas, some of the best explanations in any test book ever. So we were lucky to get him to write those sections. Yeah, it, we're really happy it worked out. And then, you know, we, our chapters, we, we all, we divided the book up by chapters. And um, it's really, I was really proud of the way it ended up in that we, we have our different voices. We all tell our stories differently. But in the end, you can tell it's really one voice telling the story of how we test software at Microsoft. So it's pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. That was great. So um, what's the, what are we doing for the next one, Ken? Uh, we're going to go into chapter one, uh, which is about how Microsoft organizes itself and kind of a high-level overview of how we ship software as a whole, kind of give you the end-to-end -end picture before 
and in the rest of the book we dive into the different techniques and the role testers play. But it seemed appropriate to start off a book like this, kind of covering the Microsoft uh, wide view of how we ship software. Uh, it's, not, it's not a super long chapter, but it certainly gives you a good overview. And if you don't know anything about my, if you don't know uh, the breadth of products we ship at Microsoft, it gives you a good sense of that. All right, well, we'll dig into that. It should be fun. So the book is How We Test Software at Microsoft. For more information, you can go to www.hwtsam.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.